In this video, I'm going to be going over a basic wiring diagram for a home thermostat so that we could better understand how this thing actually works. And then I'm also going to be dissecting this thermostat right over here and seeing what the insides of it look like. To begin with, let's go ahead and draw a simple ladder diagram of a thermostat. First of all, the thermostat is going to need a power source. So that's going to be our 24 volts from the furnace. And I know every furnace application is going to be a little bit different, but let's just go with the usual or the common thing. So this is a forest air furnace and we'll put this in a box. The thermostat is getting its source, its power source from the furnace. There's a transformer in there. So we have 120 volts going in it. The transformer turns it into 24 volts and then the control board sends that 24 volts to the thermostat in a typical application. So here is going to be our power line and this would be the common. So 24 volt hot, 24 volt common. This will be R for the hot leg and C for the common. And now let's go ahead and add the switches that are inside of the thermostat. So we're going to have an R terminal. This is going to be our first switch and it's going to look like this. Whenever you see a switch like this on a wiring diagram, that is a temperature switch, which means this switch goes up and down depending on the temperature. So that'll be our first switch. This one is going to be W. This is our heating. Let's draw our next switch. This one's going to look a little bit different. It's going to be coming from underneath it and it's also a temperature switch. This one is going to be Y for cooling. And then let's draw one more. This one is going to be a regular switch. And this one's going to be G for fan. So our furnace is sending power to our R terminal. And whenever any of these switches close, it sends power down that line. So W is going to be our heat source. So let's just put a big circle here and name it heat. So when this switch closes, our furnace turns on. When Y closes, when this line over here closes, then our AC comes on. And whenever G closes, our indoor blower fan comes on inside of the furnace. And even though I write heat, AC, and fan, it's actually more like the gas valve coils, the contactor coil inside of an air conditioner outside, and it would be a fan relay coil for this one. But for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to write heat, AC, and fan. In this little diagram, the thermostat part would be this part right over here. So everything inside of this box would be internal to the thermostat. And let's go ahead and also draw these switches right here. So we're going to have one switch on this side, off in the middle, cool on the right, and heat on the left. And then we're going to also have our fan switch. This one only has two settings, which is auto and on. And this right here is just about as basic of a wiring diagram you can get for a thermostat. And let's get back to these switches for a little bit. The way these switches work is they're measuring the temperature around the thermostat. So let's say that the temperature inside of the house is 75 degrees and you have your heat set to 72. So what that means is since the switch rises when the temperature rises, if the temperature in the house is 75, this switch is going to be in the risen position or basically it's going to be open. And if your thermostat is set to 72, as the temperature in the house starts to cool down, let's say it's winter outside, it goes down to 74, 73, 72, 71. This switch will lower until it touches this contact and boom, this W line gets energized and that turns on your furnace. Once the temperature in the house heats up, then this switch goes back up and interrupts the power. And the switch for the air conditioner works the same way. When the temperature inside of the house goes up, this switch goes up until it touches this contact and energizes the air conditioner. The air conditioner runs until it cools off the house 
and this switch opens back up and interrupts the power, turning the AC off. And the last switch that we have is for the fan. And this is just a basic switch, it's almost like a light switch. It's either on or off, except in our case it's either auto or on. When it's an automatic, that means that whenever the heat comes on, whenever the furnace comes on, the fan will come on. Whenever the air conditioner comes on, the fan will come on as well. And that is controlled by the control board in the furnace. When we switch this switch to on, that simply means that power will be going to the fan all the time. So the fan will be running literally 24-7 regardless of whether the heat or the AC is running or not. So this is the wiring diagram that I have for you. But now let's go ahead and see if we can see some of that inside of the thermostat once we take it all apart. And I already took it apart ahead of time using this little kit. I usually use this if I want to dissect something without breaking it. And I did this off camera because I didn't want to waste your time. All I have to do is just kind of take the pieces apart. Let's take the thermostat off the base. And on the base, there's always going to be a hole. And all the wires that are going to be coming from the furnace, the thermostat wires, they're going to be coming in through this hole right here and plugging into these terminals right over here. Let's go back to the body of the thermostat. Right here we have a switch that switches between gas or oil. So if you have a gas furnace, you would switch it to gas. If it's oil, you would switch it to oil. If we take this piece out, take it a step further, we see our circuit board. And like I said, I took these things off ahead of time because you have to kind of monkey with them a little bit. But this is where our switches are. So here's our switch that switches between heating and cooling. And this switch over here is for the fan. So if we take these little metal boxes off, we should be able to see what exactly is going on inside. And as you can see, they don't really look like light switches, that's for sure. It's more like little metal contacts. So with the fan switch, the power is going into the middle contact. So out of these three, the middle one is the one that has power going to it. If the switch is in this position, in the automatic position, power is going here. But if we switch it to on, then this little bar inside, it makes these two contacts touch. So instead, it energizes this side. And if we look at the heat, cooling, and off switch on the inside, it's a little bit bigger, and these sets of contacts move together. See that? And I realize that this is probably sounding pretty confusing, so we can try to draw a better picture depicting this on our little wiring diagram. But before we do that, let's take this control board out and just see if there's anything interesting on the back side. And no, turns out there's really nothing interesting on the back, just a printed circuit board. The buttons, the arrows, they go on these two spots right here for the up and down. And that's about it. If we look at our switches, this is what they look like on the inside. Just a couple of plastic pieces. And those other switches that we were looking at, this plastic piece goes into the white one, and that's how they move. Let's go back to drawing for a little bit. I'm going to try to draw this switch so that we can understand it a little better. So this thing, let's draw it using these dots. One, two, three, and then another set. One, two, three. We're going to have off, heat, and cool. So these dots are going to be our contacts. So if we look at our thermostat, these dots represent sets of contacts. Let's say this top one 
is going to be our W. The bottom one is going to be our Y. And let's draw our switch. This is the switch. So this is one side of the contact, these guys right here, and this is the other side. Right now, it's in the off position, right here in the middle. If we take a look at these contacts, these two over here are blanks. There's nothing hooked up to them. But the one on the top and the one on the bottom, they are hooked up to the AC and to the heating. So if we move our switch to heating, our switch goes up to this contact and to this contact. Over here, it's a blank, but over here, it energizes our W. And if we move our switch to cooling, if we move it down, this contact gets energized and this contact gets energized. This one is blank, but this one would power on the AC. Drawing it this way is more complicated, but this would be more accurate. So the power goes in here to the switch, and then from here, it goes to either W, or it goes to Y, which is our cooling. So this would be a more accurate picture than this right here. This is a simplified version. As for the fan switch, it would probably be more accurately drawn like this. So this would be our power going to the fan. And then you would have a two-way switch. This would be auto, and this would be on. So this switch would either be in this position or in this position, up or down. So in a nutshell, this would be a zoomed-in version of the fan switch, and this over here would be a zoomed-in version of this over here. Well guys, and that is all I had for you today. I hope this diagram will help you better understand how the insides of a thermostat work. If I missed something or I said something incorrectly, please do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comments section below, I have a dad joke for you. What kind of shoes do ninjas wear? Sneakers. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, that one was kind of lame. Let me try a different one. Have you heard the rumor about butter? Actually, never mind. I'm not going to spread it.